check? Oh, I mean, I think they did a button check. Hopefully they did. Yep, we're getting into it. Alright, so this is the rematch. Uh, these two met in uh, winner's finals. Zane took it 2-0. Dill had some pretty good like adaptation, like slowing down the final kill on game one. Almost was able to creep it back, but one of those situations, too little, too late. And then uh, game two, we saw more adaptation from Zane to try and like close those gaps. You know, they got a little bit tunnel visionally uh, at the end of game one, kind of you know reset, new game, uh, new me sort of thing, and was able to uh, clinch it over to. I do believe if I remember it was like last stock. I don't know about how close it, it was, but yeah. Anyway, so that's the history of the the previous set, and here we are. Starting off game one on Battlefield. Both sets, uh, bo no, both games last set was on Battlefield. So we might see an all Battlefield set uh, for this Grand Tier. And the first stock going to Zane. I will. <laughs> I gotta tweet out the match. <laughs> going as fast as I can. If you appreciate me frantically doing things on stream, uh, please consider subbing. It helps. <laughs> it helps make it worth it. <laughs> So I want to point out that Zane last week did take second place at uh, Zeno 239. Oh man, get out of there! Um, and so losing to Carflow, who placed seventh at today's bracket, uh, who lost to Celix. Uh, so is this Zane's uh, chance to win their first uh, Zeno? Uh, has to go through Dill to do it, but is on winner's side and has already gone through Dill uh, uh, from the winner's side of the bracket. So things are actually looking pretty good for them. But, uh, ugh, man. Dill, <laughs> I never see Dill so visibly frustrated uh, in a matchup before. Definitely, like, something <laughs> pretty nutso. Also, uh, I think we had. Uh, thank you for the 40 cents, probably from the sponsor quests. Uh, now we're at se over $70 uh, for our Macharino for this this Saturday's uh, Xeno Saga. So if you haven't done it, there are four 20 cent sponsor quests that you can do that will just add 80 cents to the bracket for free. 20 cents each. So it's following on Twitter and going to a like, you know, uh, G Fuel's website. So definitely consider doing that. But uh, yeah, right now, Zane, full stock lead. Honestly, I don't think that close to getting the uh, to dying because like yeah, the percent is high, but like Dill is struggling for the win condition. Getting that kill is you know proving very difficult. So you know I, I don't really like the setups that you would need to do to like get a kill right now. I, I feel like uh, Zane's percent needs to be much higher uh, so that like an like a random kill will do it. I, I don't think we're gonna see it. Like now we're getting close to it. And is that gonna be enough? No, it isn't. And Dill trying to go for a spike, not knowing where uh, Zane is gonna go. I like the idea with the, you know, the the Zer Nair. I'm sorry, the, the, you know, the Z drop Nairs to like, you know, just hit the entire wall. It's pretty safe. It's one of Rob's safer moves. Man, Zane just has a, a really strong, uh, what's the word? Uh, like wall up here right now. No pun intended. Okay, is that forward air? No, it's not. That's not going to be enough. But um, All right, forward air finally going to do it. But Dill at 119. I think game one might be going to Zane. But, you know, just like what we... Okay. All right. Game one going to Zane. Getting rid of FD and Smashville. So what will Dill's counter pick be? So I think Dill tried to challenge something. It had like more of an aggressive landing. No, just jumped. 
maybe it did something. Man, Dill's hand flips have been uh, very frequent this game. Like, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a pretty, pretty uncharacteristic. It's kind of funny. Ooh, let me see that again. So, oh wow, Jesus Christ! Just tried to jump from the ledge. We got hit all over the place. All right. I think we're running it back to Battlefield. I'm not very sure. Dill hyping herself up. Let's see what we can, uh, what'll change. Yep. Oh, small Battlefield. Okay. That's a breath of fresh air. Uh, but Zane going to be taking a huge lead, building 55 damage on Dill. Uh, what did he do to uh, surmount this? Oh, man. Tried to run. Tried to jump and run uh, and bumped into the, the block uh, in a row, twice in a row. Okay, kind of even uh, percent, but the moment I say that Zane just got like a, a pretty decent string, just uh, maintaining that lead. Ooh, okay, boom, boom. All right, what's Zane gonna do to come down? Huh? All right. Oh, that's the other thing. Uh, Rob's gyro on like battlefield uh, and small battlefield by extension. Uh, with this color, gyro's pretty hard to see. Ooh, unfortunate. Is that going to be enough? And it is. It was the wooden one, uh, fell out. Uh, I think it was because of the gyro. So now Dill at a stock deficit. Can she uh, take the stock now? And does it. All right. Uh, even stocks, 0-0, zero, zero, stock two. Zane on tournament point right now. Boom, boom. Rage of the roll. Up air, up air. Gonna keep this edge guard going. Dill misses the grab uh, on the roll. Went a little bit too far. Um, okay, so Nair takes out all the dirt blocks. That's good to know. I, I don't know enough about this character or like how much damage you need to do this. Triple up air. Alright, Dill. Sure. Ooh, okay. Zane with like the... Uh, Getting their uh, landing punished by the gyro just like like the last moment they'll shut it out. Yeah. So that's like the slow gyro like to, I mentioned earlier. It, it's a good way for Rob to get a fully charged gyro uh, like in their hand. Or if it is fully charged, I mean, rather. It's not, it doesn't change in strength after it's been picked up. But uh, yeah, it's just a, an easy way for Rob to just get a hold of it. Okay, goes for down throw and... Not, not gonna be enough. Ooh, uh. Zane being tricky. Zane. Ooh. Oh my god. Yeah, look at that slow gyro. Ah, oh. uh, didn't react quick enough. Uh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, got rid of it all, and now up throw probably. Yeah. I, I, at 160, about uh, generally most characters will die, especially with Rob at you know. 100 damage worth of rage. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, Zane trying to punish uh, up smash out of shield, but you know, Rob Nair, if you don't get if you don't get the parry, I don't think you're gonna get the punish. Oh, I don't know what that move that connected into the backer. Is that Nair? I don't I know this character has like two moves or something. And Dill takes it. Jesus, that was stressful to watch, to say the least. Right, so what happened here? Uh, gets an offstage scenario, drops the gyro. Okay, the gyro had nothing to do with it. So it was just landing Nair into uh, gyro. Okay, yeah, that's that's like the end of like the regular rotor arm combo and stuff like that. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, you know what? Uh, screw that other uh, one. I want to see this. What was this? Okay. Okay, so it went from... Uh, the sword tilt bear does Alex have tilt bear these are tilt aerials okay interesting okay and so then it went into the sword into the pickaxe okay god damn yeah I, I don't know enough about this <laughs> all right soft bear into strong bear that I see all right that's that's why it just looked so weird to me. Okay, so I don't know what their bands are because uh, I don't think it was put in. I think we're going to Hollow Bastion. We are. All right. 
So Dill now on reset point, and Zane on, still on tournament point. That doesn't change. And Dill starting off pretty strong uh, with an early hit. Okay. Okay. I okay. So something that's really important to mention there is that when Rob went off stage with the arm rotor because it was a whiff, you have the option to like to pull back. And it was a good job uh, by Dill to just keep going forward to like minimize any sort of punish. And in that in that regard, there was no punish. And if you had went back, you could have been like a downer from like the 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 Steve downer, the the Acme uh, iron, whatever it's called. Anyway, ooh, okay, Dill getting a little bit uh, overzealous with these uh, side bees. Uh, you know, took a, a decent lead in the beginning, but Zane closing that gap. Also switching to the uh, the, the the Scottish. Uh, the Scottish Steve, you know, he's wearing a little kilt, uh, channeling that quid energy. I don't know if, I, if actually. Anyway, uh, so we got some pretty, uh, since now we're like both looking for the kill on both of them. Oh my god, the gyro actually does nothing. Uh, uh, against the, the, the blocks. Alright. Uh. Okay. Jumps out of the... Punishes the cart. Strong laser, is that going to do it? Let's see what Zane can do to come back to the stage. This is a very scary situation. If, if uh, Zane gets grabbed, that's going to be an up throw from... Oh my god! Wow! Walks, catches Dill uh, in the in the ride on the the cart. God, this is. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is how you know that like I don't know enough about Steve or am not familiar enough because I keep like I I keep like stalling on like to call the names of his moves because like like what does everything call you know like mind guard and, and the I don't what's the down there called? Please, someone tell me. <laughs> Yeah, uh, if 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 uh, if Zane gets caught uh, uh, by a grab or okay, the downer has a name, right? Anyway, uh, so even even percents, you know, Zane was at like a billion percent at that point. Anvil, thank you, God damn, I could not remember for the life of me. Thank you, thank you. If you enjoy watching me struggle, uh, please follow and subscribe. Uh, if, if we get enough subscribers just from uh, the enjoyment of watching me struggle, I'll just stop having commentators and I'll just commentate everything. Uh, easy, 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 right? Anyway, uh, deal with this crazy... Ooh, oh my god, that's not going to be enough though. I had to pull super far back and like... Oh, just so... The, uh, for, for reference, Hollow Bastion has... Um, is, is, is literally FD. FD ceiling, FD uh, walls. The, the stage itself is the exact same shape as FD in every regard. Plus, there's a platform. That's literally it. So, yeah, I called it Acme before. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, once again, if if I think Dill's kind of looking for that grab, but Zane's definitely still keeping it tricky. Up. Oh, okay. My God, the swings do not stop. <gasps> Zane looking for that spike. That was so spooky. All right, setting up a little obstacle course. And I mean, that's what you got to do. Uh, wow, still trying to, to get the... Man, that's a lot of stone. Does this stage have a lot of stone? Is that a thing? No. Uh, didn't have a gyro. Uh, it was still active s somewhere. Oh, oh my god! The the minecart traded with the up air, saving Zane. That's literally... Um, steel? My god. The swings, oh my god. Wow, that's some big damage. Can't roll back. Although rolling back is just an extra long spot dodge at that point. So that can be useful for timings. And this might be Zane's tournament. Dill is struggling to get this kill right now. Doesn't know the openings uh, against Steve. And kind of struggling for it. That's it. Yep. And Zane taking Zeno two forty. God damn. We got we got two new champions in the the same. We got two new champions in the the same uh, in like two two weeks in a row. That's not so. I personally hate to see it. But good stuff to Zane. Uh, 
It's been a long time coming. Boom. So, uh, I don't have commentators to sign off and stuff. So, like, uh, let's see. Um, what can I do? Uh, yeah, after this is done, we'll talk about Xenosaga real quick. Boom. Yeah, actually, I want to see that again. Let's let's see that again. Where was... Okay, it was at the very beginning. So, the gyro is over here, right? And then, like, it still tries to shoot it. Oh, that's a different gyro. So, that one, like, gets some height. And, like, I guess it's still active at this point. Yeah. And then, yeah. Okay, wow. That sucks for Rob. <laughs> and yeah, catches it uh catches the uh the falling up air. Alright, so come to Xenosaga. It is this Saturday. Xenosaga. There we go. It's this Saturday. Uh ten dollar venue, ten dollar singles, ten dollar doubles, five each. Uh venue does go up to fifteen if you uh, register day of. So definitely come through. Uh definitely register ahead of time. Uh, right now, our, our prize pool, our pri our pot bonus is $70.09. Let's see if we can hit our goal of, uh, our next goal of, uh, of $100. All right. Um, I need to make the finisher video, and video is completed. All right. Have a good night, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed. If, uh, if you enjoyed, definitely hit that follow button. Uh, if you really, if you enjoyed the production, uh, Subscribe on Twitch. It helps a lot. You know, uh, we have replays. We have tools for our commentators to like pull up ads like this, stuff like that. There's a lot of back end stuff. Um, and yeah, uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed the stream. And we will. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Wait, this isn't... What? I'm going to just refresh this. Why? It didn't overwrite? Twice in a row. Alright, I guess we're going to watch uh, Xeno 239.